Hello, my name is Tom. We are here at Game Changer Audio, and this is the Motorcent Mark II. This will be a short video showcasing two distinct modulation effects that are featured on the front panel of the Motorcent. Those are drift slash detune and cross modulation. These are far from the only modulation effects possible on the Motorcent, especially if you count in the freely assignable modulators from the modulation section. So be sure to check out other Motorcent in depth videos. The link to the playlist is in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified about new videos. Both drift slash detune and cross modulation are two single knob instant modulation effects. The drift and detune part are two different flavors of individual motor detuning. Drift applies an LFO at random frequency to each individual motor, providing beautiful chorusing sounds. The detune effect is similar, but here it is more static. Each time you trigger a new note, the motors and digital oscillators get detuned by a random offset. Crossmod knob applies amplitude cross modulation between the voices, providing raspy sounds or metallic overtones. So why have these two specific modulation effects featured on the front panel if you have a powerful modulation section with freely assignable modulators? Well, the primary reason is that we felt these sound really great on the motor synth, and we wanted to have them always accessible on the front panel and leave the modulation section for more advanced tasks. Each effect has a center indented knob with two different variations in each direction. Using these knobs is completely sufficient in most cases, but both effects do have extended settings in dedicated screens. To access the screen of each effect, turn the effect knob and notice the pop-up on the screen. Now, press the right screen encoder to enter the screen. The drift and detune settings allow you to turn this effect on or off for individual voices. Let's say that Motor Voice 2 is providing lower frequencies that you don't want to go out of tune but Motor Voice 1 and the Digital Voice are providing bright pad sounds that can benefit from the lush chorusing of the drifting motors. As you heard, it is also possible to change the LFO frequency. The graph on the right shows the real-time drift status of all eight motors and four digital oscillators. The LFOs have different frequencies. They are similar within a small frequency range, but those small differences provide the lush chorusing sounds that a single LFO applied to all sound sources couldn't recreate. The other version of this effect is the static detune. Each time a new note is triggered, the two motors and one digital oscillator that produce that note are randomly detuned 
within the range of depth that you have dialed in. This provides a static but still slightly detuned sounds. Each button press produces different detuning. Now let's turn our attention to the cross modulation effect and enter the cross mod settings screen. If you turn the knob counterclockwise, it is the frequency of Motor Voice 1 which is used to cross modulate all voices. If you turn the knob clockwise, it is now Motor Voice 2. Because the scale and frequency of each motor voice is different in this patch, the resulting cross-modulation sound is also different depending on which voice is used as the modulator. As you were able to see, the cross-modulation settings screen allows you to toggle this effect on and off for each voice individually, similarly to the drift and detune screen. The output of the motor voices is not directly used as a modulator in this effect. Instead, the frequency and waveform of the motor voice is taken and used to generate a modulating oscillator. The benefit is that you can change the scale setting of this modulating oscillator and the pulse width of the waveform. The lower scale settings can produce raspy sounds and even sub-audio tremolo effect, but higher settings often produce shrill metallic sounds. The tremolo is especially interesting because the rate of the effect is dependent on the frequency of the last note played. As I mentioned before, the waveform of cross-modulation is also dependent on the motor voice. However, it is still possible to pulse with modulate this modulating waveform. These two effects are fairly simple and they mix very well with the warm sound of the DC motors. The rotational speed of each motor is very precise, so drift and detune allow you to dial in some imprecision, which fits with the whole mechanical character of this instrument. And cross modulation helps accentuate the more aggressive side of the motor synth. We find ourselves often assigning the MIDI mod wheel or one of the built-in modulators to the depth of these effects because these effects tend to give instant gratification.